Hey guys, I hope you're doing amazing. If you're here for the first time, Karibu sana. If you've been here with us, thank you for tuning in. So today I'm bringing to you another video. So this is just a tour of how big the Tanzanian supermarkets are. This is a Tanzanian supermarket. Just the way you could be curious of how supermarkets in other countries would look like. So this is a Tanzanian supermarket. The supermarkets are super big as compared to Kenya. Products are more of the same, but the space is too big. Yeah, one thing about them, and everything is just on the one, on, on one floor. So that could be a result as to why they are big, actually. Yeah, that could be the reason, yes. Because you don't have like, like a floor on top like the ones in Kenya. So compared to this one of Tanzania, all their things are on the ground on, on one floor. So it makes them super big. And yeah, just just have a look at it. All their products are, they 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 share I think East Africa shares so much so much of uh goods goods and services. I think they more they're more of the difference between East Africa is just the location you are at. But most of the the things they sell are more of the same. Yeah. So this is just a tour. It is super big, guys. If you come here, you will be surprised. Yeah, so this is just a tour. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Just have a brief of how a supermarket in Tanzania would look like. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and comment. Just enjoy the video. Let me know in the comment section, have you ever been to... Tanzania, Dar es Salaam. This was uh, the capital city sometimes back, but it was changed to Dodoma. So it has, it's really developed. Yeah. So, yeah, it's really developed. So, yeah, most of the companies, most of the investors are really invested in Tanzania, Dar es Salaam. That is. So, yeah, this space is quite big. You see the way it is like, oh my God, I don't know if you're walking inside, it's like you're walking into like something, I don't know, is it, I don't know how to describe it, but it's super big and it is so spacious and they have a lot of spaces, so there's no like, like you you'll collide with someone and when, when picking something from the shelves or something. The prices are, they, they have a bit of, they have just a small difference. They have like small difference in terms of their currency. Yeah, you know, you know, the, the Kenyan currency is a bit down right now. It is 17, one shilling is, one shilling is 17, is it 17? Yeah. Mm, it's 17 or 20. It's 17 actually. It used to be 20, but right now it's 17. So, yeah, that's the difference. So, that's, that's the only difference that could be there in terms of prices. The, the, the Kenyan currency has gone down. So, yeah, otherwise, everything is just okay and normal and they taste the same. Yeah, so East African things are just the same. Mm hmm except from the locally produced items that are sold in the supermarkets as well so guys enjoy the video let me know have you ever been to, into have you ever been here rather have you ever been into dar have you ever been in dar have you ever been in tanzania let me know your experience how was it this is i feel like this is the Salaam is quite developed and you don't feel so much change there's not much culture shock but yeah there's that culture shock of currency and how they relate but yeah it's it's more of the same there's nothing much nothing new nothing it's just how they operate and their culture yeah but it, it's quite a nice country i would recommend it to anyone if you want to relocate if you want to visit this like it's, it's a nice country to visit
funny thing you see the huggies if you are a mother you know you know the <laughs> you'd pass by there to check what pampers they have but yeah it is it is nice guys this supermarket is big it's super big it's super big super big people do you, do you know Tanzanians don't use supermarkets as such can you imagine like supermarkets are meant for they don't get crowded as they want in Kenya like you know Kenyans are used to supermarkets but in Tanzania it's weird there's a certain class that uses supermarkets and malls that is what I got. Like most, most and supermarkets are not for everyone. Like a particular class, you know, we have the 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 mid, the poor, the middle class, and the upper class. So majority of people shop in the malls and supermarkets in Tanzania are the the rich and a few of middle class. But yeah, a lot of them, they the rich people. The rich people shop here. That is one thing that I got to find out. It's such I don't know I don't know if it's weird or rather I'm, I'm just a Kenyan, typical Kenyan who knows supermarkets is just supermarket is just for everyone. I mean, <laughs> so yeah, guys, let me know what what do you think? Let me know in the comment section. So this is the electric electric side. So it's so big. This home appliances and all that. So this is the section that corner. So it is quite big, it is quite big guys. As you know the policy, this one I was just quickly giving taking a tour of how the mall looks how the supermarket looks like. But you know the policy they don't allow sometimes they sometimes they, they restrict on recording, but this one was just a quick quick tour of how it looks like. <laughs> 